for fucking SNES. This is actually a really interesting game. And, uh... It's not one that I owned back in the day, but I have played it and beaten it. And it's actually a really decent game. It's kind of an RPG style, but more of a like Metroid type style. Well, not really Metroid, but it's kind of a little bit hard to explain. Uh, but yeah, it's a side scroller where basically you go through a process of evolution. And it has a kind of like Mario, uh, yeah, like a Mario world map to it. But yeah, each chapter, each chapter in this game takes place as evolution evolves. It says evolution originally started in the ocean. The first chapter, you're a fish. They go through the stages in each chapter to progress in the evolutionary chain. You start off as a little harmless fish that can't do much. Then you can talk to the jellyfish to get information on what you're supposed to do. And I'll talk to the jellyfish to gain information. And you build up evolution points, which you can use to evolve different abilities. But as you can see, it requires different evolution points for all that. And you can check your status. Which you can see what you're capable of. You gotta be careful because some jellyfish... Some of the jellyfish will fucking uh, hurt you. You can talk to them, but you can also kill them to evolve. Yeah, it's not a bad game. It's kinda reminds me of Echo the Dolphin. Uh, except more RPG-like. But it is just the starting area, there's really no need to kill the jellyfish. Even though you can to build up some easy evolution points at the start if you really want to. <coughs> So really it's just like a Mario type game or something like that where you're just going from stage to stage and you have to build up evolution points to evolve your character as you go through it. It's actually not a bad game. <laughs> and of course once you build up enough evolution points you can pick what you want to evolve to make your guys, to make your shit stronger. But yeah, you can hunt the jellyfish at the start as an easy way. As an easy way to evolve. Like jaws. Yeah, you gotta get better jaws. I forgot what the horn does. You can get a stronger body to defense. You can get different fins for speed and shit. And you can upgrade your tail and all that shit. As you progress through the game and get more evolved uh, forms, you can do like head, hands, feet, neck, and all that shit. Eels. But yeah, you 
need to build up your evolution abilities as the game progresses. I know the commentary is starting to suck, but I can get my ass kicked. And sometimes you get those power up evolutions that will change your shit, yeah. I also like how the graphics change every time you evolve. That's an interesting thing. But now, if you want a kind of casual type game... Uh, this is actually an interesting kind of RPG. It's not a generic RPG, but... Yeah, this little crystal just gives you the information on what you need to do. To increase your abilities. There's no reason to go in that cave. Once you get on that cave and do that, you can fucking move on to the next part. So yeah, basically eat everything to build up your Evo points because you'll need them. Once you're strong enough to move on, you have to move on. So yeah, it has RPG like elements to it. But every time you complete the objective, you can move on to the next section. Like now I can move on to here because I got that orb and completed that objective. So yeah, every area has an objective and once you complete it, you can move on to the next objective. And of course, don't forget to evolve your evolution shit. Game that's definitely worth playing. Yeah, it is definitely a game that's worth playing for SNES. I thought it was kind of unique because I've never played a game like this before. Well, you gotta know, play games like this and not with such a weird fucking thing you gotta do with it. find these weird crystals that allow you to evolve weirdly like this. But yeah, this game is definitely one that's worth checking out. Of course, when you're in the influence of one of these weird transformations, you can't really improve it. You gotta wait for that weird thing to end on its own. careful that the enemies can trap you and when they trap you you get screwed up. But even if you're in one of the weird evolutions you still want to build up the points because once they end you'll be able to evolve differently. But yeah, you just move on to each section until you beat the chapter and then you move on to the next chapter and so on during the different phases of evolution. And there you go, you evolve back. So sometimes you get those weird evolutions, but they don't last. And yeah, that's pretty much it. This is actually a really good game. some obstacles that you have to figure out how to get past. 
But once you complete the... I didn't think that guy could hurt me. Like here, you gotta eat all the fish. And for some reason, they're kicking my ass. get to the top of the water you can jump much a scam. I know my commentary is shitty as usual, but <coughs> yeah. I think it's a game worth playing. Well, we're about to end this review here because I don't really know what else to say about it. They have decent music and decent graphics. And like I said, it's actually an interesting game, so there's not really much else to say. If you want to play it, check it out. But I find it pretty entertaining. Uh, I mean... Alright, here we go. We finally get to move on. They gotta dodge all the mechanic rocks. That was painful. Well, yeah. you can go back to previous levels. You don't always have to move forward. And if you want to heal, just kill the weak guys. I realize if you need food, you just kill the weaken. Yep. There are boss fights in this game. If you're still watching this video, you will fight bosses in this game. Oh, my dad's kicking my ass. But yeah. That's it. Yeah, overall it's a good game. I mean, there's not wrong, is it? But yeah, we're we'll probably going in this review soon because, as I said, uh, there's not really much else to say about this game. But it is a good game. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. I like it. Wow, man. If you fuck up, you can see how quickly you die. And once you die, uh... As you see, when you die, you just start to level over again. So there's no real consequence for dying. Except for you lose half of your EVO points. Which is another reason why you need to build up. But anyway, I'm going to end this review here because I know you're probably getting bored if you're still watching. So if you like my videos, please subscribe. We may do a full playthrough of this game eventually, but this was just kind of introducing this game if you've never heard of it. Anyway, y'all have a good night.